Al Bernstein here with my preview of the October 10th title match between Nonito Donaire and Tishiaki Nishioka. Now this is a unification match in the Super Bantamweight division. Both men hold versions of the world title. And of course, every time Nonito Donaire steps into the ring, it is widely anticipated. He is in the upper part of the top 10 pound for pound rankings. And in Nishioka, he has a very, very tough opponent. For Donaire, the 29-year-old with a 29-1 record, he's now the WBO Super Bantamweight Champion. He has held titles in four different weight classes. He is obviously a big power puncher, great left hook, great straight right hand, but in his last three fights, he has gone the distance. So as he moves up in weight, has his power followed him? It's one of the questions that may get answered on October 10th. As for Nishioka, He's got the WBC Super Bantamweight title. He's had it since 2009. He's made six defenses of that crown, and the last one came against Rafael Marquez. He sports a 39-4-3 record, and this 36-year-old, who is a southpaw, could be a dangerous opponent for Nonito Donaire. With that in mind, let's go to the keys to victory. For Donaire, keeping the right hand up is essential because that is where he can block the straight left of Nishioka, a straight left that did in Johnny Gonzalez in one of their fights. Now he's got to double with the left hook, uh, even though that leaves him open uh, in some cases for Nishioka to land that straight left because he'll be dipping down to his left, but he's got to double with it, throw it to the body and to the head. And the right hand, which Johnny Gonzalez used to knock down Nishioka, is a terrific punch for Donaire. He has power in both his left hook and his right hand, but the right, I think, may be his big power punch in this fight. For Nishioka, he's got to be busy. You have to make Nonito Donaire fight at a slightly higher pace than he likes to fight at. If you just stay on the outside and let him pot shot you, I'm not sure anyone in any weight class that he'll fight in can beat him that way. Move to his right. He's got to stay away from that straight right hand. It's not that the Donaire left hook isn't powerful. He used that to knock out Victor Chinian, another softball when he fought him. But I think the right hand is especially a problem in this fight for Nishioka. And he's got to land the straight left hand to the head of Donaire. It's a punch Donaire has been hit with, and if he can get that in, perhaps his power could do something to the fighter who is moving up in weight. So a highly anticipated Super Bantamweight matchup. Two fighters fighting very well. Donaire right in the prime of his career, and Nishioka, though he's in his 30s, is still a superb fighter. Now we're gonna have full coverage of this fight on the Boxing Channel, both pre-fight and post-fight coverage, so you wanna stick with us for that fight.